I'm gonna start like um, breaking down the buttons in the front. We got the menu, mode, favorite, back, info. Uh, we have uh, these two um, buttons here. This is for the volume, volume up, volume down. It also works as a standby mode, as you see here. I'm gonna show you um, later on. This works for navigation. As you can see here, navigate. And also for OK, it's to press OK. The remote has all these options as well. Mm, the only option that the remote does not include is the back function here. So the back function is not included on the remote, but everything else is the same. You can you can adjust every um most like most. But every other function uh, is the same. <clears throat> so in the rear part, we can find. Uh, so in the rear parts, we got all the inputs and outputs uh, from the radio. Uh, as you can see here, um, this is the European model. So it's just to give you an example of what you will find in your radio. The only difference between the European and um, the American version is the DAP option, because um, this option is not a, is not available on Amer uh, the United States. O other than that, the radio works just the same. Um, well, I can break down the outputs and inputs. Well, this is for earphones, as it clearly shows here. Uh, with the 3.5 millimeters jack, you can plug any earphones with uh, a cable. You you also have an aux in to plug any other device with the same jack, 3.5 millimeters, like a laptop, tablet, or a, a phone. There is the line out if you want to um, then stream your music from the radio to any other systems, uh, sound system device. Um, there is the source input, the power input, um, which we include in, in the package. There is a LAN input as well, uh, which you can use to plug your radio to a router or a modem in case that you don't want to use the Wi-Fi function. We also have here a USB a port so that you can plug any USB stick and play your mp3 music um, on the radio. So here is the power button and the antenna. Um, the antenna is used for the F FM uh, stations. And the power button, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on right now and move on to the wizard setup. So as soon as... So as soon as the radio is turned on, it's going to display AUNA, that is the brand. Uh, it shouldn't take longer than one to two minutes, and then it will go to the to setup wizard. So we, as soon as we get to this screen, we press this button, that means OK. Um, the language, English, you can choose any other language that you would like to have. It is on Italian, Deutsch, Narc. You can choose from whatever language you would like to. In this case, I would go with, in, with English. Okay, now it's asking me the time and date and time format. Uh, in this case, I would choose 12 hours. The auto update um, is asking me if I want the radio to get updates from what from what channel would I like to get the update? Um, as this, the radio itself recommends update from the network, you can see here like this little star is like the recommended option. We also recommend to update the, 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 the radio from the auto update to go from the network. That means your Wi-Fi or um, your, your internet connection. So here, the set time zone 
you have to set up the time zone that corresponds to your state where you're currently on. As I am right now in Berlin, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna go ahead and choose plus one because that's the time zone for Madrid, Amsterdam, Berlin, etc., and so on. So as soon as you set this up, up the time should be automatically um, displayed for your for your estate. This option, please always keep it off. The daylight savings always resets the clock uh, automatically. And then if you have an alarm or like we have customers that they were complaining because they they would go ahead and, and set up an alarm, but the time will, would be reset and then the alarm wouldn't be, wouldn't, wouldn't be uh, ringing at the time they, they it was supposed to, to ring. So please, this option, always leave it off, right? So into the next step, we gotta, uh, we're gonna go to the network settings. The, um, so here is recommending you to um, not stay connected, but we do recommend to select yes here. So the radio always keeps the connection, the Wi-Fi connection on. So it doesn't matter if you unplug it from the back or you turn it off. As soon as you turn it back on, then the radio is going to set up the Wi-Fi as it was and the time as well. It, it takes a few seconds to set up everything, but I will show you later on. So yes, now it's asking me to select the, the VLAN region, that's the Wi-Fi region. So as we are in Europe, um, this is the only, I mean, this is the European model. So this is the only option that is showing up. But for you, it should it should show the American uh, American region. I'm gonna go ahead and click. Okay, now it's searching for the Wi-Fi connections that are available in the office. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select when we're spinning this wheel here. Will let me go ahead and go down and up. And then I can select the the connection, the Wi-Fi connection I would like to have. Go ahead and press OK. And then it takes you to the keyboard um, layout. So here you can select the characters and letters. OK, so now I have input my password. Um, I just wanted to tell you, like, you can you can go ahead and select the password, the characters with the spinning wheel here and just press in OK every time you want to input this character. Or you can also use the remote, which is pretty much easier, you know, because you got the navigation keys right there and it's way faster. So as soon as you input your password, then you can click OK in the remote or we can keep going with the uh, main buttons here. So I would go ahead and click OK, the button. And then it's going to take one to two minutes to connect to the network. Perfect. Now the radio is connected and the setup wizard is completed. As soon as the setup is complete, then you click OK. And there the radio will be success successfully um, set up. So right now um, you can either uh, navigate the system with the nav navigation wheel here um, through this list, or you can click mode and then go only to the apps. So here you got all the applications available. And if you click mode again, then you go to the list mode and it's exactly the same, but the list mode has these few more options here. Not only the apps, but the sleep mode, the alarms and the system settings. So right now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to stream music from your phone, in this case, to your uh, Auna Connect 150.
which remember has to be the same in the in within the same uh, Wi-Fi network, right? Wi-Fi connection. So um, the first step here would be to play the music, and then you can select devices, available Fly devices right here below. So you will find that you can connect to a device and the device in this case that we want is the Connect 150 right here. So let's go ahead and tap there. So right now my music is streaming from my Spotify app on my phone to the radio. So as you can see here, it is this, it is streaming the music from my Spotify Connect to the radio. So to change the mode, then let's go ahead to let's go ahead to click on menu, and then you can select the main menu. Then if you leave it if you leave it just like that, it will take you back to where you were. It just takes a few seconds and then it will take you back to Spotify or internet radio or whatever um, options you, it were, you were using before. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, and talk about the network connection. Um, when you go to the system settings and then within network, then you will find network wizard. That is just to scan the Wi-Fi that are available. There is the PC, PVC VLAN setup. This is just to um, connect your Wi-Fi through um, WPS. So, you know, most of the modems, they come with this button that you can press to um, to connect to your to your network. Okay, then you have the view settings and this is just information about the network that you are um, onto. Um, the VLAN region um, that would that should be America, the United States of America. The manual settings is just to, instead of automatically choosing a network, then you can input every information about a network that you would like to be connected to um, either wire or wireless. We, don't, we do not recommend this option if you're not a network expertise. Um, the net remote pin setup, this is just as the last option. This is just another way to connect to your, your Wi-Fi network. But as I said before, if you're not like a network network expertise or you don't know how to set up this, we always recommend the automatic mode that is the Wi-Fi wizard. Um, let's see what else it got. Okay, so here you have few few more options like network profile and clear the network settings in case that you you want to delete the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi connections that the radio has recorded. So let's see in network profile, those are the Wi-Fi connections that the radio already has um, recognized. And I mean, it has connect to. So this option, we always recommend to leave it as a yes. Always keep the radio connect. So in case they, we turn the radio off, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the radio off, so I can show you.
So as you can see, it is automatically connecting back into the the network by itself. So you don't you don't have to do it anymore. So there you go. It's connected and it took me back to the last option I was using that was the Spotify Connect option. So unless I choose another option, it will always take me back there as long as I stop uh, tweaking stuff up here. Let's see, let's say I want internet radio now, then it will always stay in internet radio. As long as you don't move anything, it will stay there. So there is an important fact that we have to talk about, is in, and it is the time and date. So for the time and date, this radio, as it is European, for some reason, the time and date are as follows. Days, month, year. So um, you have to remember that at the moment that you set up these um, settings, um, if you want to do it manually, then the time should be as as follows days month and year or or else the radio won't work correctly the auto update um as we selected before uh, from the network that means that through internet the radio will um get the correct um date and time the format you can select as you wish here. We recommend 12 hours. Set time zone as the time zone um, for your state. The daylight savings, always keep it off, please. With the favorites. So for the favorites, Let's go ahead and give you an example of how to save how to save stations and then how to search them from the favorites. So we can do it either with the favorite button here or we can do it with the little star here in the remote. I'm going to show you both the processes. So let's go ahead and open the station list. Let's go to stations and let's take popular stations. So I'm going to choose any any station the classic F fm so now it's playing the cl classic fm station so if i want to save this as favorite then i would have to press and hold this button here so as soon as this is displayed i stop pushing the favorite and then i push ok here to select the slot one or two or three whatever you want to choose so if I want this to be my main uh, FM station, then I will go ahead and click OK. Perfect. You see, this shows the message that says, and here also is telling you that this is the number one favorite station that is on the slot one. So if I want to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and change the station. Mm, go back and then select another one. Rock. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I can go back to my favorite. I click only once and then I click OK and I'm back to my favorite station. With the remote, it's just the same. I'm going to go ahead and pick another station. Let's say classic radio. So I want classic radio to be my preferred station. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold the start button. And it's displaying. And it says right here, save to preset. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the number four and click okay. There you go, preset store. Now it's even showing it here, preset four, the favorite four. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the station. Let's say, anyone any any station so I want to pick up my station that I use safe in the in the slot four I press once and then I can select again the classic radio station 
And this works for everything, not only for internet radio, but also for also for the FM, let's say. Let's go ahead and I want to choose, let's say, Okay, let's say that uh, this is my favorite station and I want to save this station. Then I go ahead, press and hold, and then I have 10 more slots to save the FM stations. I click OK in the number one, and that's it. I want, I want to change it, and then I want to go back to my station. I click once, click OK, that's it.